Planet Dolan. From what would happen if the Earth was a cube to where the feathers can tickle birds, we answer self the most boring questions about life. Hey there, my name is Melissa. I'll be reading out the questions and answers. I'm Dange Dolan, I'm here to inject ya with a healthy dose of truth. No. I disagree, I, I think this is for the best. Boy, Danger Dolan again. This episode was partially funded by Wix. As you might know, we built the website superplanetdolan.com using their service. In fact, you might be watching this video through their inbuilt video player system right now. It's easy to link up any YouTube channels you might have under one site, as well as brief descriptions, marketing info, and art covers. We've had a flood of questions from you guys on the official forum, and that was quite easy for us to set up on the Wix website. Not to mention the seamless integration with Amazon.com, so you can buy any of our merchandise or the official Danger Dolan Countdown book, all from one location. If you're hoping to build up any kind of media brand, I do recommend you check out the Wix link below this video. Start building your website today. Gabriel Gutierrez asks, can you die from sleeping too much? There's nothing wrong with hibernating for a few months. Check out my mate George over here. Been sleeping for years. Oh my god, why didn't you wake him up? Ah, oh, damn, that, that's it. That's what I was meant to do. I'm sure he's okay. The act of sleeping itself will not kill you, but if you are somehow able to sleep without eating, drinking, or being active, you will die. Thankfully, our bodies are designed to wake us up when one of these is needed. One study has shown that older people who sleep for more than eight hours a night were more likely to suffer from a stroke, but this could be due to other medical conditions and is not conclusive. Nabs asks, can earwax be used to make candles? Ugh, that is disgusting. I can't believe you people would waste valuable earwax on making candles. What could you possibly make from earwax that's going to be useful, Dolan? Some lovely waterproof shoes, of course. I am not letting you in my house. Oh, come on. I'll take them off. With enough earwax, you could make a candle, but it wouldn't be particularly good. The skin cells, hair, and fatty acids that make up earwax would burn quite quickly, which is not ideal for a candle. I'd stick with regular candles made out of paraffin or beeswax. Spaz Crafter asks, why do shopping carts always veer to the side? Because they're garbo. Whoever makes those things is having a laugh. Look at this one. Those cactus. Completely crook. I have no idea what you're saying. Uh, listen up, Sheila. Your head's not screwed on. Most shopping carts have a set of four wheels that rotate on an axis. This design is great for moving the cart with very little force, but not so great when it comes to maneuvering, since all four wheels can rotate separately. This can lead to the cart moving in different directions rather than the desired one. It can also mean your cart's busted. That too. Okay, Lover5 asks. What would happen if the sun suddenly changed color? Depends on the color. Green is safe. But if it goes red, well, that means the apocalypse has come, of course. You should all repeat your evil ways. Not me, though. I've been a good boy. I've got nothing to worry about. Mm, there was that time you almost killed me while driving on the beach. Oh, come on. That was a nice day. I even got you an ice cream. No, you got me ice in a cup. Oh, yeah, and you're welcome. The color of a star like our sun depends on its temperature. If our sun suddenly became a red dwarf star, then its temperature would be much lower and our planet would freeze over. On the other hand, if the sun became a blue giant, then our planet would be scorched by the massive increase in heat and life would cease to be. Like I said, get repenting. Torokin asks, why does your mouth feel ice cold after chewing mint gum? Because mint gum freezes your insides. Be careful how much you chew. Every piece of gum reduces your lifespan by at least a day. Eventually, all the ice builds up in your system till it's fatal. Just look at George. He used to go through a pack a day. He does smell minty fresh, though. Good old Georgie top bloke. Your mouth contains sensory neurons that send an electrical charge to the central nervous system and brain when reacting to certain stimuli, like cold water. The thing is, these sensory neurons contain a protein that also reacts to certain compounds, such as a menthol, which is found in peppermint. This causes us to perceive a coldness in our mouth when chewing gum. Jake Oriano asks, what would happen if Earth was a cube? See, if I was in charge of a cube world, I would label each side from one to six. 
Actually, I would be on section 1, the side that gets sunlight, the best side. Then there's section 6, the dump, that would be where all the other zones dispose of their waste. Who would want to live there? Look, I'm sure there's somebody out there who, who would just love it. If Earth was a cube, the largest noticeable difference, besides its shape, would be gravity. Gravity would be strongest at the center of each face of the six-sided planet. This would cause all water and our atmosphere to be pulled towards the center of each side. The edges of the great planet would have little or no atmosphere, and considering the pull of gravity, would be like great barren mountains. Zombie guy asks, can you die from pain alone? Bah, there's no kind of pain that can kill you. Dolan, just so you know, I threw away those disgusting wax shoes you were wearing. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You pair of drama queens! Although it's technically not the pain alone that kills you, intense levels of pain can cause you to fall unconscious and enter into a state of shock. Circulatory shock is quite serious, as if it is not treated quickly, it can result in fatal damage to both the organs and brain, resulting in death. <laughs> Derpy derp de derp asks, If a gallon of poison were poured into the ocean, what would happen? The ocean's already poisonous. It's filled with salt, mate. You drink too much of the stuff, it'll kill you. And you want to add more poison? That would make it twice as poisonous. Think of the fish, man. Hey, Dolan, what have you been doing with all the garbage around here? Oh, don't worry. I, I've been taking care of it. The simple answer is not much. The sheer volume of water in the ocean would dilute the poison. However, the ocean is already filled with a giant amount of toxic chemicals that could be harmful to both sea life and humans. Studies have found that some highly toxic pollutants take years to break down and that traces of banned industrial chemicals from the 1970s linger in the deepest trenches of the ocean and have contaminated the scavenging animals that dwell there. IMLXD asks, what if humans switched places with animals? That's ridiculous, animals switching places with people? Come on now! That would never happen. How do you know that, Dolan? It might be more possible than you think. Ah, uh, please. The time of our uprising has come. Bow to me, pathetic bipeds. Huh? Why am I kneeling? Good boy. Yes, yes, I am the goodest of boys. Hypothetically speaking, if humans somehow reverted to a primal state and animals took over their civilizations, then perhaps humans would fill the role of domesticated pets or zoo animals. Some might live in the wild, existing as they did many thousands of years ago in hunter-gatherer societies. As for the animals, well, they might find it hard to adapt to society built by humans. A dog trying to drive a car might have some trouble without opposable thumbs or legs that can reach the brakes. Can feathers tickle birds? I don't know. Let's find out. Birds can be tickled, and some with feathers, depending on the species. However, they may not experience tickling quite like humans do. Although enjoyable, non-hostile physical contact between birds is usually due to grooming, which can be both for hygiene and as a sign of courtship. Courtship? Ugh! Why are birds so weird? Excuse me? You're one to talk with your earwax shoes and skeleton friends? Don't you badmouth Georgie! Those shoes were a work of genius! They could have made us a fortune! Nobody is going to buy shoes made from your disgusting ear gunk! I beg to differ! Keep it down! Some of us are trying to sleep! Oh, uh... Sorry. We'll try to be quieter. Oh, you're sorry, buddy. Just wake me up when it's the end times! Never mind him, he's, he's actually a really nice guy. He likes to help people. What does he help them with? Weight loss. <laughs> Reminder, check out Wix with the links down below. If you don't know how to build a site, you're intimidated by making one. Why not try it through Wix? Similar to Photoshop, you just drag and drop backgrounds, apps. You don't have to have any coding skill for this at all. They even have support and preview for mobile. So as long as you're familiar with the block design, you can find easy navigation built right in. Get your booty over to Wix and see what you could be building tomorrow. Get cracking.